The world of technology keeps evolving, and we're seeing new robots released. In today's video, we'll tell you about the humanoid bionic robots revealed to the world. China's new entertainment robot host is popular with people all over the country. Because he has a cool silver bob haircut, lifelike silicone skin, and mechanical parts that are on display. Creating the Future with Intelligence is a variety show that shows and talks about China's new technologies and innovations. Jiang Lei Lei, a beautiful female robot with artificial intelligence that looks like a human, joined her human co-host to host the show. The first episode of the show aired on January 6, 2019, during primetime on Zhenjiang Television. The show's unique combination of a human and a robot as hosts got people's attention quickly making it one of the most-watched shows on the station and one of the most-watched shows overall. Each episode of the show looks at a different aspect of technology, such as the latest advances in prosthetic limbs, the technology behind 3D printing, facial recognition, big data, and mobile payments. A billboard that Zhejiang Television made to introduce the female robot host says that the Jiang Lali is 18 years old and loves to sing, read comic books, and eat snacks. The billboard also says that Jiang Lali loves to eat snacks. It was also said that the robot is especially good at analyzing big data, storing and processing information, and most importantly, being attractive. Images and trailers released by the station show a female robot host standing on stage and playing the episode's theme. She seems to be speaking in a calm voice and moving her lips and hands in a natural way. The android was made by Liaoning Province in northeast China's Liaoning Province, which is the first place in China to make a robot that looks like a real person. The government of Panjin City's public relations office says that videos of the female bot have been watched more than a billion times on the short video apps Douyin and Kuaoshu. Since she first appeared on TV, this information has come to light. Product manager Niu Shuhai says that the company is working on making practical robots that can talk, help with medical care, and provide public services. The public services will also be able to use these robots to help them. Mr. Niu told Mail Online, We developed robot host Jiang Laoli entirely with Chinese technologies, from the design to building the hardware, as well as developing AI and software algorithms and assembly. He went on to say that Jiang Laoli is part of the company's second generation of robots. Even though many internet users were excited to see a new personality on TV, others were worried that this trend could lead to the rise of the robots. Not only is she very pretty, but she's also very smart. One person wrote on the Chinese microblogging site Weibo that they often saw her on TV. Amazing! Another comment says that China's technology is getting better and better every day. At this rate, it won't be long until robots are the only ones left on Earth. What are we supposed to be doing at this point? Someone who was worried asked the question. One commenter said, Oh no, it looks like all of the TV hosts are going to be replaced soon, which showed worry. Mr. New said that he understands why people are worried about a so-called robot revolt, but he emphasized that machines are only there to help people. He said, It's normal to be afraid of what you don't know. But in the end, robots are made by people, and the people who made them control them. He told us that the company's goal is to make practical machines that can help people with boring, dangerous, or repetitive work. This will give people the freedom to do useful and meaningful things. With these kinds of robots, there are so many things that can happen, but one thing is for sure. As Mr. New explained, robots won't be able to do all the jobs that humans do. In the future, we hope that people and machines will work together better. Then he said that robots are not our enemies. China is so far ahead of the rest of the world when it comes to robotics that it has a whole museum dedicated to them. A museum in China is making robots that look like real people by getting ideas from science fiction. They look like they are alive because they have veins in their legs and goosebumps on their skin. In the Chinese city of Dalian, the EX Future and Science Museum shows off the latest in robotic technology. The goal is to give robots as much personality and realism as possible. Technicians at the museum can scan people's faces and limbs to make dynamic 3D robots, according to a tour of the museum's research and design center that was put out by CGTN a Chinese government-affiliated media outlet. 
In a video that was put on YouTube, a journalist is seen as having her face scanned so that she can customize an android of her own. The next step is to print different parts of her body in 3D. In the video, she is wearing a glove that lets her control the movements of a robotic leg that was made with a 3D printer. People have seen the robots at the museum wandering around outside of the museum's grounds. In a video that was posted to Facebook in November, you can see one of the museum's robots directing people to the COVID-19 test sites in Dalian. It has a shield in front of its face. The museum, which opened for the first time in September 2021, also has robots made to look like Steve Jobs and Albert Einstein. A video about the exhibit that was posted online in February shows the two robots. In the video, people can see the robots waving and wishing people a happy Chinese New Year. In the past few years, China has made a lot of progress in the field of artificial intelligence. They have even made marketing campaigns with AI idols that look so much like real people and are very popular. During the Beijing Olympics, the country also used a lot of robots. Robotic waiters brought food to the tables, and robot chefs made the food. A company in Guangdong called WM Doll makes sex dolls. In 2018, they made an AI-powered sex doll that had a word database and could answer simple questions. During the same year, a Chinese news site called Sixth Tone reported that a Dalian-based sex doll company called X Doll was working on a smart sex doll that could do the dishes and make small talk. Jia Jia is another well-known female robot from China that looks like a person. Jia Jia is a robot and is actually programmed to do anything a person tells it to do. Jia Jia is programmed to make certain facial expressions based on the format asked, and she could also learn new skills from the person she is talking to. Even if the conversation with Jia Jia is simple, this is still the case. She's so true to life. Jia Jia is a prototype that was shown at an economic conference held by the world's largest bank, UBS, in Shanghai's futuristic financial center. This robot looks like a real person. It was made by a group of engineers at the University of Science and Technology of China, led by Chen Xiaoping. They were able to finish this project in a little less than two years. Her creator thinks that in 10 years, many more artificially intelligent robots like her will take over some basic jobs that humans usually do, like working in restaurants, nursing homes, hospitals, and homes. Gadgetsnow.com also reported that Chen said that cyborg labor is the way of the future. Chen says that in China, there will be a lot more ways to use robots in the next 5 to 10 years. Jia Jia has dark hair and always seems to be wearing the traditional Chinese dress. She is the first humanoid robot with advanced skills, which could be a sign that her kind will have a bright future. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down your thoughts on these robots. Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.